intro. The match with nearly two decades of buildup has finally made it to a WWE ring. It's Red versus Brooklyn Von Braun. Until recently, I would have thought Red had the advantage with Brooklyn Von Braun stepping onto her turf. But Brooklyn's transition from MMA to WWE has been virtually seamless. Yeah, it's very similar to how quickly Ronda Rousey was able to get acclimated in WWE. With that being said, tonight's outcome is extremely difficult to predict, as this might be one of the most personal conflicts we've ever witnessed. She seems to have gained the advantage here. She's a lady that can turn it on quickly, no doubt about it. Phoenix Splash! Oh, that was unreal. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. It's calling an audible now. Why? She had it right where he wanted her. Red and Brooklyn are going back and forth, taking out years of frustration on each other. Looks like Red's got the upper hand for now. Red with the tackle. And now both women are down. So far, these two have been matching each other move for move. One of them needs to somehow gain an inch. And there you see Samoa Joe watching this heated battle. I think he's headed out here to provide that edge Brooklyn needs. Trey nails him from behind. He was ready to stop him. Good thing we got the big screens out in the arena so that the WWE Universe can see this brawl for themselves. Oh, listen, the last thing these two are thinking about is an audience. If hate is too strong of a word, then these two dislike each other extremely intensely, in case you couldn't tell. Somebody's got to do something before somebody gets seriously injured back there. Saxton, you're a sissy. When you look at this, it looks like they both did their homework heading into this one. Boom! Oh, Devastating man. elbow. From behind. Boom! Back suplex. Hooking it up here, what's next? Boom. Pump handle suplex. Oh boy, setting up for a power oh, bomb. bomb. Not done yet. Holding not on. Again, not again. A third time. Boom. Trey manages to get Samoa Joe down, but for how long? Wait, what's Trey doing? I think he's going to put Joe inside the trunk of that car. He's going to try to. Joe's dead weight. Oh, that's one way to stop Samoa Joe from interfering. Yeah, assuming that trunk is strong enough to contain Joe and his enhanced arm. It looks like it'll do the job, for now at least.
Strickland are finally recovering after we cut away to see what was happening backstage between Trey and Samoa Joe. I'm just glad that thanks to Trey, we're going to get a definitive winner in this match. Yeah, as long as one of them can make it back in the ring before the 10 count. And they both do. Neither of them are ready for this match to end. For nearly a decade, the Divas title was the pinnacle for women's wrestling. She goes for the quick pin. You're not going to get her that easy. Clearly not enough damage done. Wow, that was impressive. That not a rolling elbow. Boom, oh, what an uppercut. Jordan. You had it scouted. Not what she was looking for. Reversal! What a counter! Dancing Gary! She's taking a beating here. She's not rising to the occasion right now. Oh, heel kick! Right on point. She's looking relentless now. We're looking at complete domination here. Guard. Down on the neck with reckless abandon. The championship title up for grabs here. By the end of this match, it'll finally have a home. Oh, look at this. Look at the suplex off the top rope. Oh, jeez. Oh, Take all the wind out of you. It's a go. Right on the mark. From the middle rope. Oh, what a splash. Her energy is fading rapidly now. Yeah, this could be the end of the road for her. Hooked up. Oh, my God, a small package driver. What's this? Oh, we got a cover. One, two, near fall after near fall in this matchup here. Still in it. She scores big with the counter. To the outside, which will start the referee's count. Gets out of dodge there. What a windmill kick! Three. Four. Close line. Well, that'll leave a mark. Saw that one coming. Two. Three. Here she goes. Back in the ring now. Four. Five. Six. She's in control. Power from the suplex. She steers clear there. Ooh, bullseye. Things not going how she'd like. She needs to turn the tide here. And 
finds a counter. Now in full control. And will this be it? One, two, oh, somehow. I can't believe she kicked out there. Oh, and she turns it around. Whoa, not so fast. Oh, no, we've got a problem here, guys. Enzigiri. there. She's got the shoulders down. Well, oh, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Wow, what impact! She wants to finish this. Set up. And now that one's counter. Uh-oh. Shot in the back. Rolling cutter. Warm up. Will this be it? Oh, man. That is as close to a pinfall as I've ever seen. Championship. This has to feel like a giant weight has been lifted off of Red in so many ways. And here comes Red's best friend to join in the celebration. Respect to Red for being able to achieve the seemingly impossible. This is truly a special night for her, both personally and professionally. I knew you'd be here early. You always were an overachiever. You here to demand your rematch? Because I have no problem beating you again tonight. There's not gonna be a rematch. You're giving up that easily? No, there's not going to be a rematch because you're going to announce your retirement tonight. <laughs> That's news to me. It's why I wanted to find you first thing, so you could start writing your big farewell speech. But. That kind of emotional garbage should actually come easily to you. I mean, if you get stuck, you could just borrow something from your earlier writing. You've probably asked yourself a million times, why? Why didn't they want to be my parents? The truth is, we did, but we had to make the hardest decision of our lives because we didn't feel we could give you the life you deserved. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Love always, your mom and dad. 
That's right. I found out you wrote that little piece of fiction kicking off 20 years of lies to your best friend. His real parents are dead, and you've been stringing him along this entire time, making him think they're alive just so you'd have one friend in your depressing life. You never told him the truth, even when he continued to pathetically leave two empty seats for them that would never be filled. Why? Why are you doing this? The why doesn't really matter. Right now, you should be more concerned with the what, as in what could happen next. I could expose you and all your lies, destroying your life, your reputation, and most of all, your friendship with Trey. Or, you can retire immediately, and I'll make your secret my secret. But one way or another, it's happening tonight. I know walking away from everything you've worked for will be the hardest thing you've ever done, but you have to keep our secret. Please. <laughs> And that's how I won the WWE Divas Championship, crossing off one of the most Look, elusive Sam, things on the list. I, but the, the Divas <laughs> Championship that's wasn't that. just a title. That's my mom and dad. It was more than that. It was... Uh, uh, sorry, I, I think something amazing just happened. Uh, earlier today, I received a note saying I would finally get to meet my birth parents at the Hall of Fame ceremony tonight, and I, I think they just arrived. I don't know I, what's I, happening I apologize either. if I'm a little distracted. Who are those just, people? I've been waiting for this, this moment my entire life. We're, we're almost done here, so I'll, I'll catch up with you real soon, okay? Uh, sorry, again, for cutting you off. Where were you? Uh, there's really not much left to say, other than to cover how we ended up here tonight. When I defeated my lifelong nemesis to capture this championship, the same championship I dreamed of winning as a young girl, it was an amazing feeling. But after that wore off, I was consumed by a range of different emotions, ones that I hadn't felt in a very long time. Satisfaction, relief, peace of mind, the fire, that drove me throughout my career to come out here and fight on a nightly basis was suddenly gone. I went from thinking what's next to what's left. And I realized that after crossing off the most elusive item on the list, the answer was not much. Because I accomplished everything I set out to do and way more. So I had to be honest with myself. If I kept going, everything after would feel like a letdown. And that's not how I want to live my life or remember my career. So with all that being said, I'm here tonight. to relinquish the Divas Championship and announce my retirement from WWE effective immediately. Is this actually happening? Unfortunately, I, I think it is. Now, I know this is probably shocking and some of you might be disappointed or upset, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. I've lived this part of my life to the fullest, and now it's time for me to go explore other challenges. And who knows, maybe I'll try acting again. You all saw how my only other audition went. Can't go worse than that, right? <laughs> Finally, I just want to say thank you. Thank you for supporting me for all these years. Please continue to back the next women who take my place, who I am certain will be stronger, more athletic, and hopefully a little less temperamental than I was. <clears throat> so, yeah, that's it. Thanks, everyone.
I'm not really sure what to say. I'm stunned. I think we all are. No one was expecting this. Uh, thank you, Red. Yes, thank you. And we wish you all the best. What was that? You can't retire. You've got years left on your career. I'm sorry, but I need you to try to understand. Maybe I could wrap my head around it if I had a little more warning. I mean, when you texted me, make sure you watch my promo tonight, I was expecting you had some clever line about Brooklyn, not that you were going to walk away from WWE. This wasn't something I was planning for a long time. It happened quickly. Okay, fine. But if you're done, then I'm done. We're a package deal, remember? No, what? Don't do this. I need you to try to understand. What about the title shot you just earned in the Royal Rumble? And getting revenge on Samoa Joe for everything he's done? None of that matters if you're not along for the ride, too. You need to think about this some more. You're making an impulsive decision. I've made up my mind. I'm done. I never expected my plan to work this well and cause your idiot friend to retire, too. It's like getting rid of two turds with one stone. This isn't over. But it is over. And that's the best part of all of this. Anyway, just wanted to wish you a happy early retirement. Maybe you can take up bingo or going to dinner at 3 p.m. or yelling at kids in your neighborhood. If you kick that ball in my yard one more time, I'm going to put you on my list. <laughs> Hilarious. See you, uh, never again. We're going live with your show intro in five minutes. Thanks. Uh, just let me run through it once to make sure I've got it. <clears throat> Who will be named as your top ten? Prepare yourself for drama as our contestants get their hands dirty, glad-handing with the CEO of a manure company to see who can get the upper hand for their fall fertilizer campaign. It's all hands on deck, coming up next on America's Next Top Hand Model. Do you think there's too many hand puns? It's perfect. It's not heavy-handed at all. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> hey, hey, sorry I missed your other call. I'm at my new hosting gig. Look, if this is about getting Baron Corbin a spot on the show, I'm still relatively new here, so I don't think I have that kind of pull yet. Oh, okay, good, because honestly, I don't think Baron's hands are anything to write home about. <laughs> Wait, what'd you say? Really? That, that's amazing! Did you tell Red yet? Yeah, she's been hard to reach lately. Okay, I'll, I'll try her. This is truly an honor. Thank you so much. Ah, ooh, ah, oh, yeah, ooh, 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 I'm gonna be famous, or -er. I'm gonna be famous, or. -er. Ah! <laughs> yes! That's my ring. And my championship. I hate you, Brooklyn! What? Hey, it's been a while. How's it going? I'm great. I'm on vacation at the beach, which is why no one's been able to reach me. I'm trying to disconnect, you know? Oh, that's good to hear. I only have a minute, so I'll make this quick. I just got some amazing news. We're going into the WWE Hall of Fame together. Really? Wow, I I'm shocked. I mean, I thought it would happen someday, but definitely not this fast. They didn't say this, but I'm assuming they want to capitalize on my crossover appeal as host of ANTHM. I'm sure that's it. I know we didn't expect our careers to end the way they did, but it's nice to know we accomplished enough to go into the Hall of Fame. And more importantly, we're going in together, just like it's always been. Yeah, it is nice. Hey, I gotta run. Don't relax too much. You know what they say about idle hands. Ooh, I gotta work that into tonight's show. Congrats. You too.
Oh, I wish I could see Brooklyn's reaction. <laughs> I'm sure she won't be happy. Which makes me happy. Move! Don't look at me! Don't look at me! Get out of my way! Are you kidding me? Those two pieces of human trash are going into the Hall of Fame? This has to be a joke! They were only in the WWE for a cup of coffee. You know what? An actual cup of coffee deserves to be inducted before they do! Take it easy. We're all entitled to our opinions, but there are certain realities you can't dispute. While Red and Trey may have had shorter careers than the typical Hall of Famer, the impact they made during that time was tremendous. So it doesn't matter if you or anyone else disagrees, they are going to get the recognition they deserve. We'll see about that. Man, feels like we've been up here for like 15 hours. Hope everyone's still with us. But, uh, I think that pretty much sums everything up, right? Yeah, I think we covered it all. And there's only one thing left to do. List, please. <laughs> it's time to cross off one final list item together. Get inducted into the WWE Hall of Fame. Shoot, I think I forgot a pen. Seriously? I've got one you can use. I'm sure someone else in this arena has a spare pen, so you can go sit down. Take it easy. I just wanted to come up here in front of the world to say congratulations and finally put our differences behind us. I would never do anything to take away from your special night that you so rightfully deserve. Trey, even your birth parents are here, which is amazing. Stand up, please. But before you finish up, there's just one thing I want to mention that you left out of your speech. You see, Red wasn't 100% honest about what led to her retirement and later her best friends. In fact, it turns out she has a little secret, which is the real reason she walked away from WWE. You have to do something. She's going to ruin everything. I'm sorry, but I'm done hiding this for us. It's over. What really happened was I found out the truth behind this secret, and she didn't want me to tell anyone. So she chose to retire instead. But I couldn't sit back and let her get away without everyone knowing the real Red. So let's start with this. That lovely older couple in the audience, they're not Trey's parents. I know, because they're fakes I hired to be here. That letter you got that said they were coming tonight, also a fake. But if you want to see your real parents, I can make that happen. Here they are. Yeah, that pretty much says it all. And look at the date there. They were already long gone by the time we were in high school. Which makes you wonder, Trey. How could they have written you a letter? Maybe someone else wrote it to try to manipulate you into doing whatever they wanted. And maybe that person was so miserable and lonely, they had to resort to something morbid like that to ensure they always had a friend at their side. But who would do such a terrible thing? Certainly not your so-called best friend, right? Is this true? We're not finished here. If you come any closer, I will crush his neck! And the same goes for anyone else if you try to stop us. I will end him! <laughs> 